If you're looking for a non-yellowing top coat sealer, that is our tough coat. And this is a really great top coat to use on high traffic areas when you are painting a light to mid-tone color. So any of our whites or off-whites, this is great for because it's a non-yellowing top coat. And you can go up to our mid-tone range colors, but you don't want to use a water-based product typically over a dark color, because sometimes you get some cloudiness and haziness and you start to see uh, your either your brush strokes or how it was applied. So a couple of great tips to keep in mind when using this product. At the bottom, a lot of sediment will settle. And that means that the gloss part of the top coat is all sitting up here. So you want to give it a really good stir. So that means rolling it around like this for a couple of minutes. Do not shake because you don't want to introduce bubbles. What you could also do is take the lid off, take one of our paint sticks and get right down to the bottom and just give it a stir. You really wanna make sure that everything is completely uniform in this bottle prior to using it. The best application tool to get a flawless brushstroke free finish on this is using a dense sponge like this here. Automotive sponges are great and you want to dampen it with enough product on there. So I'm just gonna wipe off my, my uh, stick here. And I want to soak my sponge with it. And you don't wanna to have too, too much on, so I'll use this other part to dab. I'm just gonna dab it into the sponge. You want the sponge to have enough of it absorbed in evenly, so that when you apply it, you get a really nice, even finish across. There we go, so just dab that in. And now using a dense sponge like this, you're not gonna get any brush strokes. You're gonna get a really nice, even application. Now the water-based products such as this dry very quickly, so you don't have a lot of time to work with it. You want to apply and just drag across. There we go. And then you wanna go here and just drag right across. And when you do it this way, you won't have any brush strokes or any streakiness which you can sometimes get with a water-based coating. Once you've done that, you don't wanna continue going back over it because as it starts to dry, almost immediately, it starts to grab texture. So if you touch it as it's drying, you'll see a mark left behind. So apply it with a sponge, walk away, let it dry for a couple of hours, come back, do a second coat if you think it's necessary. The tough coat is great because it's clear and it's non-yellowing, so really excellent for kitchen cabinets or really high use areas that you think you're gonna be washing consistently.